What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Now, guys, today we're talking about um, 50 Cent and like him, hate him, or love him. You know, his transition from where he started from as a, uh, a battle rapper or a rapper who, you know, kind of trolled the industry initially. Um, it, it's, it's really masterful how his life has transitioned to where it is now. You know, he went in um, from, you know, you know, that to G unit to investments and now into television with hit TV shows such as power. Okay. So that progression that 50 cent um, has displayed it's an example for black men such as myself or black men like you this is a brother that got shot like nine times and i really like how he's played the game how well calculated and thought out he is but 50 cent didn't want just money he literally wanted power which is what he has now and when you have received power you're able to call shots that certain folks um, can't stop, all right? Now, I wanna get back to um, somebody who's also very talented, but had a different regression, which is Monique. Monique is a talented um, actress and comedian. More of a better actress, in my opinion, than being a comedian. And we've all seen her in Precious. We've seen her in TV shows. She's just really, really great at what she does. But she has a problem, in my opinion, from what I can understand, getting along with people. And that may have played a role in what it was called the blackballing of her from Hollywood. Um, from people like Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, Lee Daniels. Um, she's doubled down on it. And I don't know exactly who to believe because both sides have different stories. But 50 Cent, um, you know, he's a well calculated guy. And like I said, people are you know there's in show business they're not your friends it's permanent interest and if he didn't feel that monique couldn't help him he wouldn't want to work with her but 50 cent also wants to display his influence and so what he said was he talked to tyler perry and um you know tyler perry said that he's never blackballed her and that if 50 cent wanted to work with her it'd be completely okay uh, tyler perry also said that he could not speak for oprah but, you know, like I said, he's okay with, um, you know, 50 working with Monique. And so, Mo and so 50 Cent posts this, okay? Um, he says this, Thank you, music! I'm sure Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry would not want to continue to allow their influence to damage the real Monique, uh, the real Mo world wide career. And this has gone on for way too long. So now would be a great time to apologize because I'm going to put it back on. Okay? So... Now, I, I want to talk about a few things with this conversation. Why is 50 Cent wanting to put Monique on? Certainly, it's not because he likes Monique. 50 Cent has an interest in market share for whatever reason and to, 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 to make himself relevant and to be competing with Tyler Perry, to compete against Oprah Winfrey, to compete against Lee Daniels. And just like how he started, you know, um, in rap music, beats with other artists and stuff like this, this is what 50 Cent is doing, okay? But why is he able to do it and why is it profound? Because he is a man who seeks to control industry. He uses his influence to control industry. And while he may not be as prominent as Oprah Winfrey or Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, he does have the ability to pit people on. Look at what he's doing with Lil Meech. And I think that when you hear about, you know, black men don't have the opportunities to do things, um, black men don't have the opportunity to get onto shows and all kind of stuff. I mean, I think we look no, no, no further than what 50 Cent is doing. And for me as an African American man, it shows me that as long as I'm willing to stick with something, as long as I'm willing to meet the right people and as long as I'm willing to play the game and to keep showing up every day, I can open the door for people. 
I can open the door for myself. And let me just kind of take it a step further. How many of us as black men can open the door for each other? Because like he said, hey, I'm going to put Monique back on. I'm going to put her into my stuff. Now, people are definitely going to want to see it. And obviously, he's going to get a lot of support from, you know, from black women, things like that. It's a masterful um, idea what he's doing. But at the same time, look at the power play. You know, and a lot of times, a lot of black men don't understand. There's so many black men that have been, you know, doing very well in um, you know, like sports or athletics and they make a lot of money and they just can't transition to the next thing. Just like guys here on YouTube, you know, um, you start getting that YouTube check and you're getting the YouTube check and getting the YouTube check and then you can't transition to anything else. So you're in sports and you can't transition to anything else. You gotta look at these guys who are seeking power, man, and how they're trying to do it. And they're trying to control the industry. They keep on elevating themselves. They're going to the next thing. And I think this is what we're looking at. And what for somebody like Monique, who has regressed simply because at certain elements she didn't play the game, she has a lot to, to learn from 50 Cent. You know? And a, a, a lot of this goes into as talented people reinvesting into the business that you're in. 50 Cent made money, he reinvested. 50 Cent made a lot of money, he made good friends. 50 Cent made a lot of money, he used it to his advantage. A lot of people make a lot of money in these businesses, social media. We talked about Takashi 69 the other day. They make a lot of cash and they, they just expect that their charisma is gonna tie them by. Their popularity is gonna help them get by. And let me tell you something, your charisma and your personality and, and your status can help you all but only a certain amount of time, but you gotta be able to produce something that people like to stay relevant in this life. 50 Cent is no longer a rapper anymore. People like Ice Cube, they don't rap anymore. They're too busy creating value and getting money in other different ways. Because they've reinvested in themselves. And a lot of people, and I hate to say about my Monique, where was her ownership to become a producer? Wasn't nobody stopping her. Cause he 50 cent, you can't cancel him. See, that's the power seeking arrangement that a lot of these guys have. And what I think that Monique is gonna come back and, and she's a great actress, is gonna be great, but I want black men to, 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 to think about where he's come from. Think about, he's gonna say, listen, hey, you want to cancel that person? That person's no longer canceled because I'm the person that she can come work for. I have the backing. I have the financial backing. Hey, that could be any of us. We don't have any excuses. I mean, and Tyler Perry is 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 an oligarch in Hollywood. So is Lee Daniels. So is Oprah. And to call them out and to say that you can't stop me, he would only do it if they couldn't. 50 Cent know who to play with and who not to play with. He know who to make a, a, a statement to and who can't. He's telling them, you need to apologize. That's called power. Too many of us are not seeking power. We're seeking fame. We're seeking fortune and not seeking power in the industry. Look at what he just did. Okay. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the before and remains at all time high, I'm out.